the communist sickle of pleasure. Except for way more pleasurable for everyone who encounters it, for sure. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to, you guessed it, based on the background, we're gonna be doing another Adam and Eve haul. This time for October 2019 and you know what that means. We've got costume lingerie. So let's go ahead and start with that item. But before I put on this naughty nurse outfit, I do want to remind you guys that this is a sponsored video by Adam and Eve, a company which I love and swear by for my sex toys. And the best part of course is that they give you one of the best promo codes in the business. I get you 50% off with the code T-A-R-A, Tara, that's my name, and free shipping in the US and Canada. Some restrictions do apply, but I don't know, there probably aren't many. It's just legal jargon bullshit. So before I put this on, let's go ahead and look at the items that come in this sexy little set. First of all, we have this uh, top thing, you know, the thing that stereotypically nurses would wear inside of uh, hospitals. I don't know if they've ever worn these, actually. I think they actually wore hats, not little tie-on things, who knows. And then we have, this is like a teddy or a onesie type thing, but it has an open stomach other than these two stretchy lines. It's very one size fits all, as you can see, I can almost stretch it as far as my camera wide angle will go. I like that it has protectors on all of the holes in which the string goes through, the stretchy string, but the holes are actually protected with this red accent, so it looks really cool. I'm not quite sure why only one of the titties has the nurse emblem, but um, it looks good nonetheless. We've got the top and this, and that's all she wrote. I would personally pair this outfit with some kind of lacy white stockings or something because I feel like it needs some kind of touch on the bottom and maybe Eva's like looking at me, she's so cute. You are so cute, baby. Oh my God, you're cute. And maybe some white pumps is what I was trying to say, but let's go ahead and put this on and I'm gonna show you Eve real quick. She's being so cute. One second. What, you don't wanna be in the video? No? Okay. She's being a baby, BRB. Okay guys, I am back and wow, I had to make some makeshift pasties out of toilet paper so this wouldn't be sheer. So keep that in mind if you're gonna go out in this, which I don't think many people are brave enough to go out in this as their actual Halloween costume. I think this is more for the fun at home Halloween play, maybe a little role play, whatever you guys wanna do. But if you do happen to wear this out, just be warned, this is pretty scandalous. We do have what appears to be a fake stethoscope. In fact, is this a real stethoscope? Like a really shitty one? Oh my god. It's actually, it's like a really shitty stethoscope that you can't actually use as a stethoscope, but if you go like that, it actually does hurt your ears. So it kind of is a stethoscope. I'm actually pretty shocked at that. It's a little bit kinky, which is how I like it. You know what I'm saying? No, it's like actually kinky. Like what is going on here? Gotta like straighten it out a little bit. This isn't the most expensive of costumes, but I think your significant other will appreciate you wearing it nonetheless. <laughs> the effort and the lack of fabric used for this thing, I am sure will be appreciated no matter who gets to see you in this. Okay, so before I forget for the next item, we are going to talk about the Puppy Tail Pro again. If you guys remember from the last video, I unboxed one of these and it had a slight defect, which since has appeared to not progress and get worse. But now I have two of them. This one is a medium and this one is a small and I'm going to be giving these away to you guys completely unopened, but without any kind of cellophane wrap on the front. So please keep that in mind. The links to the giveaways for both of these will be down in the description. I'm gonna do two different giveaways, one for a small and one for a medium. So if you guys are fine with which ever size. The medium is quite uh, hefty to say the least. I, I wouldn't go with the medium if it were me, but hey, I'm not an anal queen anyway. So if you guys are interested in either of these two products, I will be giving them away down in the description to 18 plus people only, of course. So if you're interested in that, you're interested in one or the other, sign up for both, sign up for neither, sign up for one. This is gonna be in the US only because I have to pay for shipping because this is my giveaway and not a giveaway via Adam and Eve, even though they did send me the products. So thank you Adam and Eve for sending me two different sizes and for making up for the last defect. It really shows how quality of a company Adam and Eve is because they saw that there was something amiss with the first one, so they sent me two more that I can give away to you guys. Once again, before we move on to the next one, since we're not gonna unbox other people's products, you know. I just want to remind you that adamneve.com is the best place to get your sex toys. You gotta do it. You get the 50% off code. And of course, supporting our sponsors supports my channel.
channel, so I appreciate it. Even though I don't get any kind of commission, I don't have an affiliate code, they will know through using my code at checkout to get the 50% off and the free shipping in the US and Canada that I was the one that sent you and therefore they're gonna hire me again for another video and send me more products to play with, which is always a wonder. Next product. This is called the Perks EXC Interchangeable Series. I have no idea what's going on here, but at the bottom it says one handle, twice the fun, which kind of sounds like every guy, because they have one handle, but they're twice as much fun as not a guy, twice as much fun as a sex toy. But let's see if this one can stack up to a real man, shall we? By the way, any woman who's against these sex robots or sex dolls and then has one of these, you're a hypocrite. How about we all just supplement our sex and have a little bit of fun with toys and whatever is available through the wonders of technology. Don't fight the change. Embrace it. And come more. The sides. G-Spot and Clitoral Dual Vibrator provides maximum and total satisfaction. A heavy claim. Outfitted with ridges at clitoral base for extra intensity. Clitoral stimulating wand with supersonic vibrations up to 10,000 vibrations per minute. I don't know how many vibrations is like the norm or the standard, but that does sound like a lot. Dual motors at each tip. Simple and secure twist to change the heads. You turn it off and on, and then it has a basement attachment for two different heads. It takes 72 minutes to charge, after which you will be able to use it for a total of two hours, which, you know, might be one session or it might be multiple, many sessions. For me, I think that would be, depending on my state of mind, quite a few sessions, for sure. But you guys know me as Miss Tara, so easy to please. Okay, here we go. I took it off the wrong way, but it's all good. Something I like always about this stuff is it has the overwrap with all the information on it to entice you to buy it, but then it pops out with this wonderful, high quality box that you can actually keep it in for the long haul. How does this one work? It doesn't slide out. Okay, you just open it like this. I was trying to slide it out. That's funny. Here we have the actual product. So this is the wand that you stick either of the heads into and we have what looks like a head that would work well for anal pleasure, which is this one. Ooh, that is strong vibration. Oh my god. And then of course we have the custom functions like this one. This isn't a quiet vibrator, but it is very much a strong vibrator for the size. I like that a lot. Let's try the other head. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with the other head. It seems to be like kind of a C-shaped toy. Obviously it is C-shaped, but that seems to be what it's for. For sticking inside of you like this and for clitoral stimulation right here. So it has G-spot vibe and clitoral stimulation with a handle, which is kind of cool because I've never seen these with a handle. Usually they come in kind of a C-shape like this and you're supposed to just stick it in and leave it. But with this, you can actually like twirl it around inside of you and use it at any which angle gets you off. Let's go ahead and see. Pretty much the same vibration. I like this toy. The handle seems kind of cheapish. Like it's clearly not waterproof, but everything else up here is similar to every other high quality toy where it's body safe silicone. It feels very durable. It feels like it would be very easy to wipe clean, get any kind of things off of it with just a foaming cleanser of some sort. Adam and Eve does have foaming cleansers and regular cleansers, lubes, anything you need. So if it's not a toy that you're looking for, if it's lingerie, costumes, things for couples, they have you covered. AdamandEve.com, code Tara. And seriously, when you guys tweet me or you guys message me or you guys comment that you used my code, it makes me so happy. It's kind of cool because I feel I feel like I'm not a very good saleswoman, but when it comes to sex toys, I am sure I have sold more sex toys for Adam and Eve by proxy of just telling you guys about it and being like, hey, I have a code, than I have any of my merch ever of all time. In fact, I think I'm the biggest purchaser, the biggest patron of my merch. By the way, this outfit, probably gonna go on Patreon. So check that out too. Link will be in the description if you're interested. I kinda don't like how this looks like a communist sickle. I'm glad that it's not red. It's like the communist sickle of pleasure, except for way more pleasurable for everyone who encounters it, for sure. All right, moving on. We've got some gems today, so I don't wanna take too long on just one product. Back in its nice little box, very sturdy, love it. We have Eve's perfect pulsating massager. Not to be confused with my cat Eve. I really love how I've been working with Adam and Eve for so long and it always cracks me up every time I am reminded that a lot of the sex toys for women are often called Eve's blah 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 and then I giggle because that's the name of my cat. I feel like they should give me more sponsorship money because I named my cat after their company basically. Totally not after the League of Legends character. No, fuck that. I named Eve after Adam 
Adam and Eve. Ooh, spooky. You know, I would be one of those nurses for sure that like kills patients. I wouldn't be like the sexy nurse that like has sex with all of the dude patients while they're sleeping, which is fun to fantasize about, but in reality is rape. I would be the murdering kind, which is arguably worse. Maybe I would be both, who knows? Anyway, I feel the need to say that all of the things that I say or joke about in this video are not directly endorsed by Adam and Eve. They just want me to shill their stuff and I enjoy doing it because I like their stuff and I like owning it. This looks really cool. It's got a diamond pattern, very soft body safe silicone. As soon as I touch it, I'm like, oh my God, look at that shiny metallic part here. This is a sexy and pretty sex toy and I really love the aesthetics on this one. Everything about it is pretty. Also, it's an Adam and Eve brand product. If you didn't surmise that from the fact that it's called Eve's Perfect Pulsating Massager, but because it is an Adam and Eve product, it comes with a five-year warranty. Sometimes they're two, sometimes they're ten. Who knows? This is a five-year warranty, which means if your product is defective, if it's not working out, Adam and Eve's customer service team is going to help you out. Yes, they will. Now, let's try this. There's the on button. Whoa! This is another one of those that just like bounces back and forth. You see? Like that. It's going back and forth. It's not focusing on it right now, but USB rechargeable, of course. Seems to be waterproof. It has a little nice LED that lights up when it's on. And yeah, that thing jackrabbits. And it can jackrabbit fast. Whoa, look at that shit. Oh my God, watch it go. I love how it has a little bit of an extended tip here. So it's gonna go a little bit deeper and you're gonna be able to kind of pulverize your cervix, which is, that's something I like. I don't love it as much in toys as I do in male members, but nonetheless, sometimes I like it a little bit rougher in my solo or mutual masturbation play as well. For what it's doing, it is also quite quiet. And you can see it bouncing there on my hand very suggestively, so we're gonna turn that off. I like this. I like the purple color. Usually I would prefer pink, but I'm getting a little sick of pink sex toys. I feel like this purple is just deeper and nicer and just looks good. So I like this product. The the next product, however, is something that I have never really tried on myself. It is a pussy pump. Maybe it's because I already naturally have a fat pussy that keeps getting taken down off of Instagram just because I have camel toe and leggings even though I'm fully clothed, but I've never understood the desire of wanting to have a thicker, fatter pussy. However, even if you don't want a bigger dick or a thicker, fatter pussy or bigger nipples or whatever, pumps can actually increase the sensitivity of the area that you're pumping alongside also making it bigger because you're pulling a lot of blood there and increasing sensitivity. But there it is, pumped by shots, pussy pump, acrylic strong suction. And I'm interested to actually see how well this seems to hold up in terms of construction because I have had nipple pumps sent to me and it was very poor construction. Probably because it wasn't from Adam and Eve, if you know what I'm saying, but let's check this one out. I love that it has the rose gold handle. It's like really pretty. So the handle is, you can see, Oh, this actually goes really well with this Halloween cosplay. It almost looks like a giant syringe. Cool stuff. Okay, so let's see if we can put this together. How do I do this? Yeah, there's definitely suction at the end of that. And then this part, which is, wow, really well made and in a separate packaging too. So it's completely secured within there. Yeah, this is very, very thick acrylic. It almost felt at first like it was glass, which would have been a little concerning, but at the same time, kind of cool. And yeah, this is really high quality. Okay, so you push that little button and then you push it in there and it has clasps, so it's gonna be airtight. How's this for a thumbnail? Oh yes. It's definitely shaped for a pussy because I'm having a hard time cupping it to any of my skin. If you're a female who has a hard time climaxing, even from clitoral stimulation, or you feel like when your man or your woman is playing around down with your pussy that you don't really feel as much sensation as you would like, which is not uncommon, so don't feel weird about it, you should try something like this because why not? There we go. Oh God. Yeah, that's suctions. It's suctioned to my knee right now. Oh my God, that's a lot of suction. And then you just press this if you wanna release it. It has that quick release button right there. I like this thing. I really wish, I, you know, I'm actually probably gonna play with this just because it's so cool. It's a cute, nice baby pink, high quality, very quick to get as pumped as you want. I mean, maybe at your own discretion, you could even try it on a ball sack. Who knows? Do whatever you want with it. Let's just go ahead and quickly move on to the next item, which is the second to last item in this haul here. And one of the most interesting, this is called Satisfier Lay-Ons. 
sweet sensations. And I thought when I first saw this that it did look like an ice cream cone, but not enough to actually be called a sweet sensation. Maybe the fact that it actually looks like an ice cream cone is lost on them and it's just a vibrator. And of course it is oh so sweet when you get those kinds of vibration sensations on all of your lady bits or man bits, whatever. Some men also do like vibration. So try it out guys and see if you like it. But this is small. It has a hygiene seal, which I like a lot. Skin friendly silicone, of course, and waterproof, of course. Easy to clean, rechargeable ion battery. So you're not gonna be fooling around with any kind of battery batteries other than the kind that you charge USB wise. It is only three and seven eighths of an inch or three and 75% of an inch, 78% of an inch. 3.78 inches is what it is. Let's get it open. The girl on the cover looks very satisfied. Look at her. She's like, oh yes, I love it when I put the ice cream on my vagina. Let's pop that hygiene seal and get this dirty up in here. Take it out. Ooh, it's a lot smaller than I thought. I don't know why, even though there's like a picture of it on the front and it says 3.78 inches, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. There is a quick start guide here, which is wrapped in this cute little wrapping. What? Eve just ran up to me like a crazy person. Are you my Halloween cat? What's wrong with you? She said and like ran away. Okay, you wanna be chased? One moment, one moment. I've gotta, I've gotta chase my cat. Got her! Ooh. I got her. I win! Ha <laughs> ha! Mm, so cute. I have got to admit, it is hard to chase a cat in this outfit. So, if you're buying this outfit for competitive cat chasing, <laughs> Don't buy it for that, just don't. But anyway, the safety guide is in this nice little wrapped package, very neatly separated from the actual product and from the USB charging cable. It's very professional, I like that. But what I really care about is, why doesn't this smell like ice cream? That's what I wanna know. Strong vibration, many functions. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can go back. You can actually scroll back through the different functions. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. But there you have it. Just like that, you can stick this in your purse. You can take it on vacation. Nobody will really know what it is. You can recharge it via USB right next to your iPhone or far away from your iPhone, very hidden. In the hotel bathroom, who knows? Whatever you wanna do and whatever you feel comfortable with, but I am really interested in this. This is very cool. I like little things like this with strong vibration, but at the same time, it is not gonna be quiet. You can hear it here. I can hear it with my fake ass stethoscope. So other people in your vicinity might hear it as well. It depends. You can use it on like a lower setting, under a blanket, in another room, but you will be waking up your sleeping mate if you're sleeping in the same bed with the person while using it. It's not the most quiet of vibrators, which is something that I do look for when the vibrator is gonna be smaller or discreet because I want something that's gonna be discreet during travel. And this does sort of look conspicuous. It does look like some kind of sex toy. I, maybe I'm so sensitized, not desensitized to sex toys that I know what a sex toy looks like. Maybe other people would think this is some kind of like facial cleanser or something, but I mean, look at this. It's clearly not some ice cream. Even though it does kind of look like ice cream, it has the nice little fins here that can get all up in your flesh and vibrate you from all the good angles. It's still, looks like a vibrator to me. So take that as you will. Our last product looks like something from the fucking future. And this is the Touche Finger Vibrator. And it comes with a watch that literally looks like my Fitbit. It looks like my Fitbit. And that watch is what controls the vibration on your finger. So this is for fingering people. Whether it's in the butt, whether you're hitting the butt G-spot on the men, or the female G-spot or the clit on your partner. This is, wow, very interesting. When I first saw this, I actually laughed out loud because I actually looked through the packaging to see what kind of goodies I got. The instant I got the box. But after further inspection, oh man, I can't wait to get this open. I really need to see how this fits on my hand. I feel like I'm gonna look like a futuristic person. Once again, we have a box that isn't part of the advertisement on the front that can keep it nice and neat inside if you wanna keep it in the box. And here it is. It literally looks like a new Apple Watch or something. I don't know, like what is going on? It actually, oh my God, you can buy these exact bands for your Fitbit. This is fucking funny. I, I don't know what else to say other than this is hilarious. 
I've seen finger vibes before. I have not seen ones where you need to wear a Fitbit. Oh my god. To control it. This is gonna be hard to get on with one hand. I cannot believe this though. What in the fuck? Okay, we've got our apparatus on like this. Very comfortable to wear for sure. Comes with USB charging, a two year warranty, and it has the little get up and go device. Oh my God, it shows a girl wearing it and using it on herself. I think this is a great couple's toy, to be honest. I know that the guide says that the girl's using it on herself and you kind of look like a techie or something. You look like a techie while you're masturbating or while you're fingering your partner. And this is just the best. Oh, there it's on. Oh my God. And it's silent, it's discreet. Really the only noise it's making is when I went like this, it was kind of like banging against my acrylic nails. This is pretty cool. It even extends your finger a bit. So like my natural finger ends about here. And then you have about another inch of extra reach to go straight into the G-spot. It has little ridges here as well. And oh my God, I actually think this is cool. I have a Fitbit on this hand and a pleaser on this hand. Let's see if I can get my heart rate up on this one while using this one. Oh my God. It has different functions and you charge it right here. This is like the funniest thing ever. I almost feel like it's a little bit like why? Like why am I wearing a wristwatch that looks like a Fitbit in order to power my finger vibrator that I finger people with, including myself, and I'm operating it with just one button. It seems a little bit over the top, but at the same time, it's very minimalistic on the actual apparatus that's gonna be pleasing you, which is cool. You don't have to worry about any functions on what's going inside of you or pleasuring you, and I, I don't know. This is just, this is too much. This might be the thumbnail. I like how it's just vibrating as I'm trying to take a thumbnail. Oh my God, this stuff is so cool. This has been a really fucking cool Adam and Eve haul. So thank you so much, Adam and Eve for sponsoring the video and sending me the products for free of charge for me to enjoy and for you guys to check out. All of these products will be linked down in the description as well as the Adam and Eve website, just the storefront and my code, which is Tara. You can use that code to get 50% off almost any one item plus free shipping to the US and Canada. If you're outside of the US and Canada, I believe the 50% off still works for you. You just won't get the free shipping. This is definitely the future right here. It may be a little clunky at first, but soon our fingers are just gonna naturally vibrate. We are gonna have little implants that we insert into ourselves to make different parts of our body vibrate. I mean, we already have implants that secrete hormones in order to keep us not having babies so we can keep having more and more pleasure. What is next? I am so excited for the future of technology for video games, but I am almost equally as excited for the future of pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out the links in the description. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. These are always age restricted. I just auto age restrict them because they should be age restricted in the first place. But if you want to see more of this outfit and support me, Patreon is the place to go because I am often demonetized if not age restricted. And you guys, you guys are what keep this channel whole and operating. And I guess I have Adam and Eve to thank for that too. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. And I'm gonna go do some rectal examinations. <laughs> I'm not actually going to, but I'm gonna play with this for sure. Has it been a long time since you've gotten a rectal exam? Nurse Tara can help you out with that. <laughs>